Lights, camera, action. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumford, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson. Local filmmakers talking about the world of film. Right here on F*** It, We Will Fix It in Post Podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're li- listening, I thank you for doing so. I am once again Kevin Mumphrey, and this is F*** We Will Fix It in Post have my colleagues with me, Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And Karsten High Ferguson. Yeah. So how much YouTube do you all watch? A lot. Way too much. So, okay, who has the premium package? Mm, I do I, not. I do not. I, I guess I'm the only one with YouTube. Because I like premium. I like playing it and not having, I can kind of get close to app and let it still play. But I bring YouTube up because, I mean, it's, a, it's one of those great places where you can just find all types of content. But it's also a great place for beginner beginner filmmakers to kind of pr- place their content and to kind of get build their own fan base. It had to it had to be very very good to get to me. Like what, the, what does that mean? No, because I mean, I, you like need perfect writing. Or no, what? no, no. I'm I'm saying it would have to filter through or whatever, and it had to be like a kind of a, a community thing. Because I like when I get on YouTube, I'm only looking for certain content, unless so somebody like. What kind of content do you normally look for? Uh, mostly, uh, like event stuff, reaction, reaction to current events, a lot of that, um, and like just weird takes on, you know, news stories a lot of times. And then like the, the, the little, little internet drama, people talking about each other here and there. Hmm. So Victoria, what type of content you normally look for? Cheaters. The show Cheaters. Right. And also. (laughs) Why do you got to be. You had and, to grin when you said that. Okay. <laughs> and also, I said and also, okay? And? And also. Also. The 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 couples that do pranks on each other, uh, I watch those. Oh, man. Why? Because it's just funny. I know I know half of it's fake, okay? Half. Half. She I'm said, trying to, look, I'm trying to give them. Listen, half. I'm trying to give them benefit of the doubt, I'm all not, right? I'm not. I've, okay? been way, I've been way past that point. All right, so that's why I said half. Okay, I know it's fake. It'll be a couple right? been doing this for like six years. Like, come on, you, you know if this person got a camera phone out on them, don't. It, well, they claim they had the cameras, so mm. yeah, of course. Yeah, even though that they know where the cameras are most times, they know the angles and everything. Yeah, because they they probably got the same. They put the cameras at the same spots. Listen, you, uh, listen, you know. I know this, okay? I, I so, know. Don't convince me that the stuff is, is, is real. I know it. I'm just saying. So what enjoyment I like to you watch. get from it? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just I might get a, a, a movie idea from some of this stuff, okay? It's just funny to me. That's where you're going to get a movie idea from? Yeah, you never know. Something might trigger in my brain. I, I do watch a lot of video essays, though, like where they break down like what the reason why they like the movie or they don't or why they think it connects with audiences or don't. I watch a lot of that stuff, like a lot of educational content. So Probably I way do more. That. I do that stuff. as well. Um, cause that's one thing I used, uh, what kind of drew me in. Like someone did this, um, you heard of the term zombie Simpsons? No, I, I've heard of it, but I, I you know. so the, uh, that's what they call the Simpsons now. Like, oh, it should okay. have oh, ended, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the show that should have, it, it really should have a long time ago. Yes. And it's just kind of first movie, a zombie. First yeah. movie. Um, I've heard like like two or three video essays say like around the like there was a little bit of a it kind of brought the movie brought it back to life a little bit for a second then went right because like after like the eighth season is when it started becoming Zombie Simpsons and they, they do all these like video breakdowns and how he set up set up some of them can be almost like a documentary hmm. it's yeah. just a documentary yeah. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you can get you can get documentary films from it. Um, people maybe film stuff on their iPhones, and they put that on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You, you see, you see a little short, a lot more short films. If you're into short films, bam, they're going going YouTube. So oh, is no. that what you watch? Yeah, I would, not as much as short films. If I do, is from someone like in another country or a subject matter that I'm really interested in. Now, I will watch movies. You know, sometimes they put movies on there. But you know those movies back then, like the 80s or something like that, like I might, you know, 
that I haven't seen in a long time or I've I've wanted to see, but I was probably now, too are you young watching, to look at. Are you watching those movies like kind of like with a, I guess you're a director eye now? No, I've never. So I can put in the difference of I can watch a movie straight through to get the story. Then I'll go back and I'll analyze it. So it's nothing to me. Okay, so um, like, so, like when there's like a long, like a movie you've seen as a kid, and you watching it on YouTube, are I, you still watching it again just to kind of? If I've seen it before, then I'll watch it again just to and you know just to look for certain stuff. But if I've never seen it, I'm gonna watch it first, and then I'm gonna go back and analyze it. Or if something pops out in my head while I'm watching the movie, I'll just rewind back and look at it and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I can, I can cut it off. Like uh, I don't analyze unless something pulls me out of the story and I try to figure out why, or or something like really captivates me, uh, and I'll I'll make sure to go back to it. Okay. Now about let's say um like you said educational stuff like what type of educational stuff like hell like um if I never if I never did a, a part on my car for example and I don't I don't do everything but you know anything above a, a certain amount I will probably just leave that to somebody else, but um. Like uh, when I, I replaced my starter, I was like, I, I didn't know what one of the bolts was. So I looked at this video and it gave a detailed breakdown, all that stuff. So I did that. Um, there was a screenplay, uh, like actually how to how to formulate a screenplay. Looked at that as a while ago. Um, certain editing tricks, a lot of those. Uh, a lot of those. Yeah, yeah a lot of those. Um, what else? So like there there's there's even some uh, stuff about history or whatever there's like the quick hits like it kind of gets you into a subject because like a lot of times now on the internet I, like if I'm not like if I'm not anywhere near a subject I want one of those like just cliff notes kind of kind of videos or something like that yeah so I'm like kind of get me into it so I can be like all right where 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 do I want to study at this particular part in history or whatever so like this particular conflict oh there's like you know, hundred battles. You know, you can't just start it like, oh, we're gonna look at all the battles. Which which one were the most uh most like, you know, uh important ones, which ones were, you know, not as well told? Is there any more information on the one that's not as well told? I wanna I wanna know about that. I wanna know about the biggest one. Okay. Hmm. I tend to um like stuff I look at is a little more it's a lot more simple than that. Like, um, and say I I mean I know how to tie a tie, but it'll be something simple of that nature, like how to tie a tie or a lot of stuff people do. Like certain games come out and you're stuck at a part, you just go on YouTube and get the mm-hmm. walk the walkthrough. And you kinda get you, you just kinda it's a it's a cheat, I know, but get you through the game. So some people put the cutscenes on there and make a whole movie. I've seen that. I, yeah. I watched I watched that last God of War, uh all the cutscenes put together. Yeah, that was fire. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. But you, uh, so I'm saying, like, as a filmmaker, you can kind of go on YouTube and build, unlike ever before, it could build a fan base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, credit YouTube, whatever, for uh, saving uh, Kevin uh, Kevin Hart's career. So kind of elaborate for people who may not know. So um, Will Packer, the director that put – Kevin Hart on the second time after Soul Plane didn't do as well as they, everybody thought it was going to do. Um, you know, he, because his comedy was going basically all over the world, he he was building a name without really even trying super hard. I mean, he's putting stuff out there and other people are sharing stuff. So, like, he had these viral moments and he slowly became, like, a, a really, really big name in the whole entire world. And then, like, you know, uh, Will Packer's son mentioned something about Kevin Hart and then he started looking at the analytics and all that stuff and he's like yeah this guy's actually pretty good and gave him a second chance pretty much because uh, Hollywood kind of put turned their back on him a little bit you know if you don't go right away yeah they yeah. tend like not to mess with you or whatever because you're not the hot hand yeah, so so he can also build careers mm-hmm. you can also start your you almost like built a portfolio just you, you, you can build it on any anywhere any 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 platform where you can actually contact either directly or indirectly with people you can build like your 
cache. You can't, but the, like, where's the main spot you're gonna be able to get people? Maybe I mean, TikTok, you can maybe TikTok now, right? TikTok. I mean, yeah, TikToks. I mean, look, look, look. Um, uh, King was it was old boy. Um, King Bosch. He's in movies. The uh the but the he Paul, was the, in like the Paul brothers were in movies and all that stuff too, and they they, they did all this other stuff. King Bosch actually started on Vine. I say he did pretty much all social media. He started. On, the, he started um, on Vine. He's in what, movies now. What was the chick uh, who has the the show about teachers? She started on Vine too. Yeah, show about teachers. Uh, yeah, it's a comedian. Uh, she had a, a like a famous meme out there. Lord, I can't even think of who that one may be. You, you she can, may it may be someone if I know. It if I saw uh, it. You you can look it up. It's called I forgot the name. It's it's a, I forgot the name. Anyways, she started out on Vine. And her meme, and now she's has a very successful show. One piece of content. Um, what's that? King Vader. He was. Uh, I mean, he kind of built his, and he's got a show that's going to be on Netflix. He's been on. He he would do a lot of his stuff on Instagram, and he just he has like these little um, fight scenes. Like he's very anime influence type of content. Oh, I know you're talking about. I know you're talking about. I was like. Are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name. Yeah, I know, I know you're talking about. Like, I never knew the dude's name. I just seen him all the time. Yeah, and he's got a he got a uh, Netflix deal, and he's I believe the show's coming out sometime this year. Well, man, like you get to the point now where, hey, if you can build a persona or personality, like people are gonna want to want to deal with you. And the thing, if you build, like, you use social media or YouTube, or whatever, to build your audience, you have when, a built-in audience. When and for one, you can probably already monetize that audience. Yeah. But when you go into, let's say a a uh, distributor wants to deal with you, or another pup, you know, another company necessarily wants to distribute your stuff, or even Netflix. Hell, you, look, look, look. Kevin Samuels. Speaking of YouTube, whatever. Kevin Samuels actually is in a future music video. So yeah, it, it don't I've, take nothing. <laughs> I, was, I was like, where? No, I, I think mean, you like, finished I, saying like. No, I, saw, I, saw, I saw, I saw it on YouTube. What I was like, I was like, what the hell? No, no. So okay, <laughs> I put, thought you finished say he's gonna get he's gonna get a talk show put on somewhere. No, I mean he he, he 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 was he's he's been in like a few movies too. They they're, they're just shooting, but he's in a future music video. Yes. I mean, you brought that up like that was. It was on YouTube. I saw it on the on the page. Whatever. <laughs> I was like, it was on the Explore page. I'm like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just my mind went way higher than you gave it. And it, it, I mean, I mean, you don't think he's gonna be on a talk show? That's where I thought you were going. With I mean, no, I'm saying like but it's, it, it's it inevitable. Could, it's it, inevitable. It, at this point, it's inevitable. It could, like, I mean, who's going to pick that up? Show up. This dude was just talking to uh, Damon John the other day on his Instagram joint. Nicki Minaj just, hit him up last week too. They were surprised to see that. Yeah, I heard that happen. I'm just trying to think, like, what? Like, what network? Would, I mean, maybe HBO. The, okay, all right. So you got Hulu. You got Amazon. I, I mean, you get Hulu. You, you don't. You don't think I anybody. Think you don't think ABC, anybody. You don't think Disney. anybody would pick it up. You don't think anybody would pick it up. He's monetizing his YouTube right now, and nobody would pick up his show. I think there's quite a few companies that wouldn't pick anything they, involving wait, 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 Disney. Wait. No, not no, touching them. No, no, they wouldn't. No, they pick up everything else, and they wouldn't pick up him. No, why? Because you get. I mean, so much blowback that come from that. Oh yeah. Okay. So, like the blowback from Dave Chappelle. Netflix, and he makes Buku's money. He don't even need Netflix. So, so you you don't think Kevin Samuels like push to a certain audience can't can't make a lot of money? Controversy sells, there's, right? There's controversy sells, there's right? Dave Chappelle money, and there's potential. I, I don't yeah, but you don't have to offer him as much money as you offer Dave Chappelle, possibly. And the risk reward is is greater than it is bad. And then you got to look at his his the fan base that he already has. Yeah. He's already going to bring he, fans he's, anyways. He's already monetizing fans on his platform in YouTube right now. But the money, I mean, the money he's probably getting or the fan base that he has that he's gotten from YouTube. He's probably one percent of YouTubers, more than likely. One percent of YouTube. Yeah, he's probably the one percent of YouTubers. See, when I think of like one percent of YouTube, I'm thinking uh, Paul Brothers. They they probably don't, uh, don't make that much money off of YouTube anymore. 
they probably make their money off of everything else. Like, because well, I, I, well, not, I, Floyd, I, not off of Floyd Mayweather. Oh, man, I ain't worried about that, man. <laughs> like, yo, like, uh, old boy even said, man, he said, he said, man, take a while to, uh, to get it in. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Cause like all, all the money don't just come up front. Yeah. It's probably done like maybe six months, in, six months in maybe. Uh, like, Hey, look, you, you did that deal not knowing what the hell was going on. So whatever. Actually, what's the and, network and, and that I ain't crying over? I ain't crying over him not getting paid. It, <laughs> I, like I'm, I'm not crying over, but I, I kind of the, the whole business aspect, of like how he, how he's not getting paid. I'm kind of interested in to how he, he'll probably end up getting paid. But I'm just saying, I'm not crying because more than likely he'll probably get paid. So I'm like, I'm not gonna cry for this dude. Like, whatever. So it's a network that um. Just kind of going back on the Kevin Samuels thing. The network that, um, like, Shade Room. What's the uh, network that... Uh, Shade, Shade, Room's Room. not, Shade Room's not a network, though. No, no, not Shade Room, but there'll be content. And Shade Room for most of con- their content from uh, from this network. Oh, I don't know. But Peacock would p- pick them up, too. Peak? NBC? Yeah. Yeah, man, most of those streamers. Because he, 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 he would give them I, more eyeballs... Then they they probably have right now at whatever time slot. So you have to think about it. It's a streaming network. It's not like it's on tel- television. You need personalities, and and I'm pretty sure that sh- it's not even top three. Because you got Netflix, you got Hulu, you, you got, got Disney, yeah, you got Disney, and, and you got you got Disney. HBO, HBO Max H- is going up. HBO, and then Showtime's got one, and you got Paramount. That's six right there. And there's Showtime more. does have one. I totally forgot about Discovery's Showtime. got one. Like, it, it's silly. How many of these? I'm like, yo, I ain't giving y'all all like a little $9. Man, what and you I, saying? I'm like, man, hey, look, look. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look. You, you hey. Hey, I'd hey, rather hey. give them 9 than um, give uh, Netflix, what, 17 15 You paying 15? $17? I'm 10. not paying none of it. 15 <laughs> oh, Don't incriminate yourself. I'm not paying. Hey, don't incriminate yourself. How I watch is not important. It, it, but yeah, don't incriminate yourself. Tennessee is a, a self admission state. I s- hey, oh. dry snitch if you want. <laughs> I just know Netflix is like that. I don't go. To, I don't go to that one too much anymore because they keep going up in price, and I feel like they're going to be up to twenty in about two to three years. Well, Netflix won't be the only one. Uh, these other streaming services will go up too. If they can, yeah, they got to get I to mean, a certain amount of people first, yeah. right? But I'm saying when they do, I'm like, I, I but, see. I mean, there's some like I see Paramount doing doing very well, especially with uh, Disney. They don't even need it. I mean, like they got ESPN. It doesn't make ESPN doesn't make the money. They don't need like Disney got money everywhere. They don't. You have you to. will be surprised. Mm, uh, but 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 see, here's the end. There, there's a fallacy in that because like just because you 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 think whatever Disney almost went bankrupt back in the day. Cause they got a lot of liabilities and on the books and all that stuff. They got to pay royalties. <laughs> Excuse me, all this other stuff. Why do you think they did that? That uh, that restructuring with Brie Larson, or not Brie Larson, uh, but uh, Scarlett Johansson. You remember she had a contract uh, joint where they weren't paying her. I, mean, I don't remember that. Think about stuff like that. With Black Widow just came out. Yeah, she did a lawsuit against them. That was like six months ago, right? And and no, it's been longer than that as far as like the movie. No, I'm saying like, and like, because it, it happened about on, the lawsuit? on release. It happened on release of the movie. But I'm saying it wasn't like, six well, months I mean, ago. Like, it was like a week before the release. Black Widow well, it ain't been out that long. I don't think it was six months ago, though. I think it was like six. Hmm. It was like last year. It you may be right, because I think it, um, cause I, did, I, don't, I don't remember. I know it wasn't a lawsuit. year, but I'm just saying. I think it was like six months. Hey, go ahead and look that up. I w- <laughs> Come on, Google man. Nah, he Y'all just wants designate to be right. Me to- he just wants to be right, and it's okay. No, no, it's I'm, okay. No, no, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, because I went to the theater and saw it. I think it was about you six saw months it at ago. The theater? Yeah, yeah, I went to the theater and saw it. I'm th- I'm thinking the uh the series. Black Widow. The se- there's a series Black Widow. No, no, there's a series with Black Widow on it. It was on Disney, Disney Plus. What? Hmm? Was it a cartoon? No, 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 no. It was a show because they had. Um, you talking about Wanda? One, yes, that. Oh, she might have did a cameo on there. I don't, I don't know. I no, that. she was on there. I've never seen. Uh, I don't know. I ain't episodes, seen that either. So. I, I'm not. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't rock with Disney like that. Let me see. Okay, I got it. Okay, they're saying 2021. 
Yeah, that's in Black Widow. Twenty two hours. Yikes. Yep, twenty twenty one. No, what month? Oh yeah, we want details. Release month. Yeah, July 9th, twenty twenty one. Okay, so long as six months. My bad. It's okay. It's I, okay. I apologize to you. I said it's okay. But I, I accept. I, I accept your apology. Thank Even you. my cousin was like almost a year. So I was like, look it up. Oh, I was wondering for my own interest. It's okay. I tell your cousin. I said, "What's up?" <laughs> Kim, Burley, Karsten says, "What's up?" How about that? Now, do you all feel about? Uh, <laughs> It was just funny to me. <laughs> like if you uh, if you had, if you were putting films on, because I mean even we put content on YouTube. That we build a um bit little bit bit of a following. You we can. have like a and it could and it could have and let's say let's say Netflix is down to the main one. They hit you up and they want let's say you got something they want to do like a little mini series. Like how do you kind of they're gonna have to pay me? They're gonna have to but pay we know, me. Pay we me. know we're gonna we know they're gonna pay you. So like what. What would be your that kind of like your no go area like that non negotiable? If they want to change too much, I understand I'm wanting to change some stuff, and I can compromise with some things being changed. But if they completely go left with the show, that's not happening. So what if they want like ownership of the? Oh no no that's not happening. Well, you was quick on that. <laughs> that's not happening. We're not doing that. Depends on the project for me. If they wanted ownership. There's some stuff I'm probably not willing to part with, but some stuff I'll be like, eh, you know, if it helps me get to my goal, I'm willing to detach from certain things. I'm kind of, I'm kind of in that same lane too. It's like how, if it's just like a funny thought that I had and we just made it a little mini series, you know, the goal isn't as bigger than a, the goal, you know, the project getting bigger than the goal. But, but my, I mean, but there's certain projects that are this up here that, you know, I'll be like, uh, I nah. can't get I can't I because I, I can't compromise because it will not be the same thing. But my thing is, if Netflix wants it, that means somebody else was going to want it. Maybe, maybe. No, nah, no. Nah, it, it, it's once it's out there, it's like okay, why Netflix hitting them up? Especially once word gets out. Maybe I can I can see that I can see that thought process. Maybe Amazon may be like, I mean I don't I don't know about Disney or and all that, but I'm sure other people go okay, who is this? If, and if nothing else, you still got the fan base, so you're not hurting. And if you're able to monetize that fan base, I hope you you monetize it. Then yeah. you 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 won't be hurting. Yeah. So it's like you're not. I don't need to. And you have more leverage, like when you go to the table too. You be like, hey, this is what we're doing already. And that's I think the great thing about social media and YouTube and all that. They give you lev. They give you. They can put you in a position to have way more leverage. Than a filmmaker in the past, mm-hmm. and you can uh, probably you can even probably take their fan base. They give you like a little bit of money, and that's like you have like a filming budget with that. You know, you just kind of uh, like what do you what do you, I can't think of the name of the uh, crowdsourcing mm-hmm. funding and make projects that way. So when they come in and talk talking about you, you a project, really got you, you know, really got to build an audience though for that. I mean, yeah, you got, it has to be yeah, a strong you audience. Re- you really got to build an audience for that. Or, you know, have some kind of connection with the people and all that stuff. I mean, because, like, strangers just giving you money. Even your family just giving you money. No, sir. But then you still, you got the um, the people that really rock with you, and you got the people who just kind of follow just to kind of get a good. Yeah, but you, you know, you know what the, uh, what the declared statement, what the actual, you know, statement is by somebody voting with their dollar. If somebody gives you some money, they 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 at least rock with you a little bit. Depending on how much money it is. Or you can just have the people who believe in you. They want to help out. I mean, yeah, but they rock with you. you know yeah, what I'm but I'm saying like like you don't know, like because there's plenty of people to be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Hey, I hope you get it, brother. I hope you get it. Yep. <laughs> but I'm saying there's people who believe in you. So yeah. they, they There's people that don't. They that, help you out. Or they believe in you, but it's like, I mean Nah, like I mean like they'll be like they'll be like, I hope it works out for you. There's them people too. 
Yeah. And I'm not saying they bad. I'm just saying like, like they're not. Mm-hmm. They they can't just throw that money out like that. Well, no, nah, they they're not making a choice because like plenty of people be throwing money. Depends on what they throwing at it. Yep. I don't know what you meant by that, but I think we're going to end it there. Bands will make her dance. Yeah, make her dance. That's that's a weird way we're going to end this, but hey, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I am once again Kevin Moffat with my co-host Victoria VA Jones. Um, just remember bands will make them dance. You, I don't even know why you said that. And Carson Knight Ferguson. Yeah. And that is a wrap. <laughs>